Hello and welcome back to... Oh god. Hi. <laughs> welcome back to The Last Guardian with myself all... Oh god. Hi. <laughs> this is the extreme, extreme close-up uh, episode today. We have found out that Trico is, well, not the only Trico in town. We saw another one quite high up above us. And we've been making our way through these tunnels and fighting some of these armors. Oh, here we go. And there's a lot more to this area than we first thought. It is this huge nest. That's what it's referred to as. This giant tower that we're trying to work our way towards. As you can see, we're really close now. Um, but apparently, the nest doesn't just have one owner. There's a second one. And they're rare, giant, man-eating animals, right? Really scary and threatening and all that. But we found two of them. Oh, is that a barrel? It is. Food for Trico! I want the food! Alright, nothing hidden there. Uh, is that it? Really? We just went down here to get the collectible. Yeah, it seems that it's confirmed by you guys in the comments. It's definitely the case that these are about collecting. So that you can uh, increase the size of Trico's horns. Which is a, a nice little feature. It kind of gives us something to work towards. While we focus on completing the game, just just gives me a reason to check every corner, every little corridor, everything that I'm trying to look and find. Hi, Trico. I found what you were sniffing. Oh, come on. Are you doing this bullshit again? You're supposed to eat it. Why are you confused by it? Seems like we need to get across here somehow. Um, this bridge doesn't look too stable. But if you would jump across here, that would be great. Here's something, by the way, um, that I've noticed. His horns are blue, right? These blue horns that he has right there, you can see them. And yes, we know that they've been growing, right? But something that I've noticed is that the armors, these samurai armor things that have been attacking us, they've actually been... They have these blue horns on them as well. So obviously, mind control is happening through these horns. And they are causing Trico to be taken over at times by these traps, that, that trap we found in that one episode. But the armors themselves, they're under control through those horns as well. But I want to know who's in charge and who's doing this. Oh, you can fit through there. Oh, yeah, you can fit through there. Super straightforward. Uh, Trico obviously can't get through there, however. So we're going to need to find a way to get our pal through. Yeah, I know. I know you can't get through. Hold on. What are you doing? Oh, God. He got through. Wait, how did you do that? What? All right. Well, we're just going to press on. That's fine. We're going back inside here. Got this kind of squarey room. It's got that open top. I'm kind of, like I said last time, getting a bit more nervous now about where this second uh, Trico is. Um, and whether it's friendly or not. Because these are known as man-eating beasts, after all. Here we go. I was just pulling on these boxes here for some reason. Not really sure why. But there's actually a third one here that has more of these in that we can get his horn with. Um, obviously, I want to do that. But how am I going to smash these exactly? Maybe we can get Trico to step on it? Oh, there we go. Yeah! Oh, my God. That worked out perfectly. And that's like four barrels. No, three barrels. Isn't it? No, four barrels. That's awesome. We should see some genuine horn growth here. I'm excited. All right, we've got one. Yeah, boy. You can see that there's these little nubs coming out of um, where the horn originally was. It's not like the horn is just regrowing. Yeah, Yes, we knew all of those things. Thank you for the recap. Uh, whoa! Issue command. Move the boy while holding our one to issue commands. Ooh, right. So, how, how, how does this work? Look at, look at me. Oh, look. I'm telling him to go over here. I'm pointing. Oh, my God. There it is. I, like I said in the other episode, the, the more time we're spending together, 
the more my character's working out how to interact with with Trico. It's actually a legit thing, which makes complete sense. An animal and a person would reach some kind of understanding like he was saying there, but learn how to communicate on some level the more time they spend together, the more they build trust. And that's exactly what's happening here. So now I, I know how to point and tell him which way I want him to go. If I can just make him jump. Trico, for the love of God, you're really not working with me right now. Just head this way. You're going the opposite way that we need you to. Come on. There you go, there you go, that's it. Ah, Jesus Christ, that was... Oh, it's a little bit like getting blood from water there, but uh, or blood from a stone, whatever the phrase is. But we did it. So if I can just hop over here, there we go. All right. So something that you'll notice is that there's um, a little jump cut in these episodes every now and then. Um, nice job. That uh, happens, you know, every now and then. You know, you are the kid in easy. Udo ig on easy. Otorikono akuneta notch. That's sweet. Uh, we were just talking about that. But yeah, there's a little like jump every now and then because Trico ultimately is an AI, right? And it has issues. And every now and then I'm like, all right, we need to do this thing. And it takes like a few moments maybe even a, a couple minutes before I can get it to happen. And obviously, I don't want you guys to just sit there and uh, watch me faff around while I try and get an AI to do what I, what I want it to do, right? So I'm just um, making use of these little jumps every now and then to provide you guys with the smoothest experience. But what I will tell you is that it feels like... It feels like working with an animal. That's what it feels like. And it's not always going to be 100% successful. It's not always going to be the smoothest thing. Um, and that isn't necessarily a bad thing for the game. In fact, it makes it feel more real and that, that little bit more immersive. Yes, it is irritating at times. But a lot of the time, it just feels... It feels real. And I really like that. What do we just do there, then? We've lifted up this gate, which Trico teleported in somehow. Oh! I can hear Trico. Oh, maybe from up here we can do something. Like, on this spot right here. If Trico comes out, which I think I can hear. Yep, there it is. There! Look! There's a barrel right there. A hidden, hidden nut barrel. If we can get Trico somehow to, to get me up there... Yeah, there you go. That's it. It's working. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. You're almost there. You've got the wrong... There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little bit closer. A little bit closer. Okay, lift up the head. Now! Fuck. Fuck. All right. We, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Look at this. This is perfect, Trico. You're doing it. You're doing exactly what I wanted. So going into that area didn't achieve anything, but it gave me and Trico an opportunity to work together ever so slightly, just a little bit more. We actually managed to unlock this new ability to control Trico. Well, not control, but work together with Trico a lot more in a new way. Go get it. Hi. Oh, you're so goddamn cool to look at. All right, but you could just let me get down without breaking all my bones. Thank you so much. Woo! All right, there we go. Someone left a really interesting comment as well about, like, the way Trico acts and what he's doing. I joked about it in the first two episodes, I think, about how this beast, you know, though we're supposed to be friends and working together, he seems to not really give a goddamn, doesn't give a, a, a two shits about my safety and nearly has killed me multiple times. Well, the thing is, interestingly... Um, maybe it's because Trico doesn't understand that my body isn't the same as his. You know, we ultimately are very different. I'm a small human, that's a giant beast. And that giant beast can take more hits and different, you know, like, for example, if, if Trico jumps off a high thing, right, a really high up thing, but to Trico, it's not that far, and if they, if they make that jump or whatever, it'll be, they'll be fine. Maybe Trico thinks I can make that same jump, you know? Maybe Trico thinks I'd be okay. Press triangle while holding R1. Can you give me that command again? Oh! 
<laughs> it's like uh, I'm pointing which direction I want want Trico to go, and I'm doing like a jump like thing. So he's like, "All right, well, you want me to go over there, and you want me to jump, right?" Yes, come on. Yes. Oh my god, that took a genuine five minutes to get him to make that jump. Do you see what I mean? Like, I I I do in many ways wish it was smoother. Um, this whole system, it's really cool, but weirdly, in a way, similar to Dark Souls, the struggle is part of it, and when, when it get, when it actually works, it's really satisfying and rewarding. Anyway, why did we, we, we came over here because we kind of needed to, oh, and I will admit, sometimes it's satisfying, and now this just feels really irritating. Yeah, I can't, I can't say this is perfect. I'm sat here like, okay, I want you to go here, right? So I point, right? And I'm like, right there, okay, go. And then what does Trico do? Nothing. Nothing. So as good as this idea is, the reviews for this game are messy, masterpie messy masterpiece, and I'm seeing that. I feel such good things about this game, and at the same time, it's also really irritating. Have we had any luck? I tried using the jump command again there. We see Trico kind of eyeing the direction I need him to go. Come on. Is this it? What are you doing? You're going to climb? You're going to climb? Is this it? You're going to finally do it. Oh my god. He did it. All right. Don't waste this opportunity for the love of God. Oh. Thank you. Oh my god. Ah, oh, yes. It, it, it works. Sometimes and sometimes it doesn't but it's god. It's relieving when it does work, right? So what did we? What did we do up here. Obviously Trico. Well Trico can't come up here with me, which is a bit of a problem So we need to find a way maybe to open that door that uh, he was looking at uh, Right here we go we get uh, We climb up here Yeah, there we go. There we go Oh my god, we're going inside. Yeah, oh, yeah, very Metal Gear right here. Okay, I think we're behind the doorway now. If we can just get down and then open it. Maybe there's a device or like a lever down there. See anything? Yeah, I think I can see one, right? So we're going to jump onto this banister. Oh, that was close. Um, is there a way down safer than this one? I've got to be careful. Look at that. Do you see below me? These, like, lights? Okay, alright, I'm seeing that things aren't quite so straightforward in here, actually. Just jumping down might not be the best option for me. Let's keep going. I think we need to cross over here. Yeah, there's something something I need to get to first before I go help Trico. Before I open that door. Which may not be possible from this moment, right? So... Going up here, making this leap, making our way over to the other side of the room. The plan is to... How do I get around here? This is going to be awkward, actually. Okay, that was quite the fall. I thought I was dead there. I just tried to take a leap of faith, and it just, uh... Well, it worked, technically. Now I'm in this, like, lower sub-region that I didn't know existed. I don't feel like I'm supposed to be down here, but at the same time... This isn't the type of game that would allow me to be somewhere where I'm not supposed to be able to get. So this is, like, lower section around here as well. Got some lights. How do I get out of here, though? I feel, like, a little bit stuck. But no, look! We got some blue stuff on the ground here. Aha! I found my way out! Okay. Great. So if I just climb up here, I'm at the door. That means, unfortunately, I don't get to open up the next thing, but maybe I need Trico for that. I was looking around and I couldn't. Ooh, that's some bad timing. Yeah, look at that. They have the horns that I was talking about. Interesting. Right, so. I've got to do this real quick right now. Alright, Trico, get the hell in here and be quick about it. I really need you right now. Oh my god, seriously. Hurry. Yeah, I know, I know. Look how mad he is. He's got those purple eyes again where he's like angry. It's because of these statues. 
Oh, we're running out of time. It's about to see me, Trico. They're up. They're up. Get in here, Trico. Do your work. Do your jumping jump. Yeah. Did you see how they came out of the floor? Whoa. Sent him flying. Did you see how they came out of the floor? I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I thought they were like a different thing, like a mechanical thing. You can chill, bro. You can chill. We're good. We're good. Ugh. Yeah, so apparently if you pet him in certain places, he'll do something different. Um, and I'm thinking when I've been petting his head, he kind of lifts his head. So that might be one thing. But now we don't have to do all of that, uh, not necessarily park or whatever, but the platforming. We can actually just get on Trico's head. And if we can get him to, to raise his head, maybe if I give him a pet, maybe I can get up there. Yeah, there we go. That's it, pal. That's it. I think I'm getting the hang of it, maybe. I say that. Maybe I'm not. You're so close. Yeah! Hell yeah, Trico. Oh my god. You're doing so well. There we go. That's so much better than it was earlier, let me tell you. Alright, so we have this light source. Obviously, I can get through there. No hidden barrels that I can see. Alright, I'll be right back, Trico. Just uh, squeeze through here. It's like the vents of Metal Gear. Alright, where am I now? Back outside again. What we got to work with? I think I've got a ledge on my right that I'm going to have to hang off the side of. Oh, we can just squeeze through like this. Yeah, that works. We will have to go lower though, so going to have to drop either way. Scary to do that. This guy's got upper body strength for days. This kid, we said it before, this guy's made out of steel, but to do what he's doing right now, man, like, you have to have genuine muscles of steel. You know, like this crazy upper body strength. And your hands, you know, I used to do climbing, um, hands that have this, like, iron grip are required, and you need to have these, like, really stern, claw-like hands, as it were. Um, so I hope this kid has them. And, I mean, obviously, he must. He must have that firm grip to be doing what he's doing right now. All right, well, it looks like we found another entrance, which should be behind that door, the second door. Now, hopefully, we don't have more of those sentries on the other side of here, but I don't really know yet. Um... Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. There's a lot more here. Way more, actually. Okay, so the question is, do we progress on, try to get to the other side? Or do we just drop down somewhat immediately and open up the door? And as you can see, there is a way to do that, but there's two lights now, so I'll actually have less time to get Trico through. So maybe I'll need to do this myself this time. Gonna give it a go. Right. Uh, just, uh, grab this, yeah, make our way to the other side. We've got some broken ones here. These rafters aren't the most reliable. Ah, uh, here's a question. Why are they, like, in the shapes that they are? I guess it's like a hallway, but these rafters don't seem very functional to me. Like, pretend they're not broken and decrepit and ruined and all that, right? Think about the structure itself. Why is it, like, layered this way? This would never be... Oh my god. I missed. Okay, we're just gonna give that one another go, but I'm gonna just take it a little bit more easy here. Now, something happened with it when I was on it last time. That's what happened. It broke when I was making the jump. Unfortunate. And now I'm really hurt. So we're just gonna give him a, a moment here to, I guess, regenerate his leg, which this kid is apparently capable of doing and we have an indicator here that there's more of those armored guards which we can see you know we already know that but the door is seemingly that there's one of those plates on the other side here that could be a problem it's no issue though I'm just gonna run by these guys real quick boy what 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 I was not in your line of sight oh maybe it was the sound Crap. Alright, well, I'm on the other side here. Can I make the jump? Nah, you can't make that jump. Oh, God, but they can shoot stuff at me. Apparently. Get off. Get off. Okay, we're good, we're good. My other line of sight again. I think what I need to do is just chill. 
Should be another way up. Just like last time. Yeah, there we go. They're all over there right now. They don't seem to notice me. I'm going to go for it. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. I don't know if they're coming for me. We're going to find out. I'm going for it. I don't think they've noticed me. I think they're still looking where I was. Trico's mad. Trico's mad. He could smell what was going on on the other side of that door. Look at him. He's fuming. He's fuming. He's going to crush them. There's like six of them, but he doesn't give a fuck. It's Trico. Go smash them. Look at this. Go ahead. Destroy them. Yeah, he sent that one. Flying. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so satisfying to watch, just sending them into the void. Go ahead, keep smacking them. There we go. Beautiful. Giving them a crunch. Giving them a push. Oh, oh God, one's coming for me, Trico. Uh, uh, if you uh, if you just uh, kill that last one and I'll just buy us some time. Oh, he's actually done with me. He's just given up. Oh, no, I've gone through that doorway. What, what, what can he do? Oh, he's actually shooting stuff at me now. I hope eventually Trico learns to just chill out after a fight instead of doing this because climbing on him and petting him every single time is a little bit repetitive at this point i think we get the point you know he's he spent enough time now whoops <laughs> spent enough time now understanding that he's gonna have to fight here or there and it'd be cool if he would get a little bit used to it but look at that there's one of those helmets with the horns on it that's what i was mentioning earlier they have those same blue horns as trico and that's how they're being manipulated the same way Trico was. And I wonder why that is. All right, so how are we going to get through here? All right, Trico. Don't fail me now. Jump. Get up there. Up. That's it. That's it. Yes. We're getting the hang of it, guys. We're getting the hang of it. We understand how it works a bit better. Up. Oh. Come on, climb, climb and go before he goddamn lets go. Oh. All right, get on the other side of this room. What we got now? Hopefully a way to open it. Yeah, buddy, right here. All right, Trico. Let's go, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, very f misty in here. Oh, look at that, it's because the running water above us. Very big. Very daunting. Quite open, this. Oh, he can't come through. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Right there on the other side of the wall. i got to deal with it. Yeah, that sound's beginning and Trico's scared. But how am I going to get down? Maybe I have to go through again. I'm now, I'm now, if I jump down there, I'll die. I've got to go back through. Yeah, Trico, here. Just chill there for a sec. Trust me. Believe in me. I've got this. i got your back. Let's get rid of this weird symbol is apparently a Trico eye. I wonder how that works. There's a lot of mind man manipulation happening here. Right, I can't quite see anywhere to go from here except up. So we're going to use that same strat. No, we're not. I can see his wings flapping. He's got an idea of his own. He doesn't need me to do anything. Oh my god, what a leap. God, I thought I was going to have to get him to do what I wanted. But no, he's just climbing. And he's doing it again. He's literally working it out on his own. You can see which way he's trying to think and he's trying to decide which is the right option on here. We just need to let him do his thing. We're working together. Sometimes I have to go forward to help him. Sometimes it's down to Trico to do it and he doesn't even need my help, which is really cool. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, he's just gonna make the jump himself. All right, beautiful. Oh, where are we now? This room looks very different. There's something on the floor. Can't quite see what it is. Let's have a look. Trico, let me down. Oh! <laughs> okay, what is this on the floor? It looks almost like a, a train track or something. Like a, a runway. But it's a nice area, you can tell because of the light. Oh, that's how he got through that gate that other time. He just lifted it up. That's neat. Um, it's kind of a nice area. There's some, like, bass here, some water. Got these butterflies everywhere. That's uh, relieving, kind of calming. Maybe a nice sign that this area is not too deadly, especially with the green grass, that vibrant color that I wasn't expecting in the decrepit ruin like this. There is a lot of moss, don't get me wrong. But that green... 
sort of healthy looking grass isn't it just doesn't look like it fits which is nice you know it's a good thing okay yeah yeah i know you want to do some tricks there pal but let me just jump on this instead whoa whoa no trico god damn it you fool i'm trying to climb that why you gotta make it harder for both of us stop it stop it god damn it trico chill Oh my, oh my god, Trico, you've made this so much more difficult than it needed to be. Okay, I'm gonna give it a no, 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 Trico, no, ah. Oh. Trico, I'm using you as a platform. It's your own fault, alright. Oh, thank god. I should have just stopped trying. I should have just stopped trying immediately. There was no reason to keep trying given what Trico was doing there. I got uh, something to pull here. It's good that these levers don't do anything negative, generally, because I'm just grabbing and pulling on everyone that I find. Well, that lit something up, but didn't do too much outside of that. Oh! Oh! Oh, careful! Nearly didn't make that. And there's fire there. you got to be careful. You don't want to burn yourself, Trico. Fire hurts. Don't know if you know that, Trico. But damn, it does hurt. Maybe... I need to go back down because Trico showed me that he can make it now. Now that I've changed the area, now he can actually make it. Yeah, so we go back down, get on his back. Maybe he can just make that jump now. Doesn't need, he doesn't need me to do anything else. He can do it on his own. That's what he was just showing me. A neat idea. Hopefully that's the case. Yes. Come on. Do it. Yes. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. That's what we were looking for. Now we have uh, somewhere that I can jump down to. I can do the next uh, leg of this journey. All right, gotta be careful here. This doesn't look too stable. I wanna get off that quickly. More of those blue runes on the ground there. That's not a good sign. What the hell is this? Oh, I can see some blue down there. Can't tell what it is, but so far blue has been bad overall. So I'm just kind of reacting to it that way now. We got a cage in here as well. Another bad sign. All right, we'll just pop on over to the cage. We can actually climb that. Don't need to, though. We can. And we'll just jump off here. There we go. And what is this blue thing, exactly? Gotta be careful here, because... Again, everything that has this aura has been bad, generally. What is it? It's like a pot with that... Oh, oh it's got that smell or oil or, or aura, whatever it is. The smoke. Um, it's got that same thing. Maybe it's the case that Trico is going to come in here and be, like, obsessed or distracted with it. Well, we found the, the lever that's going to let him get in here, I think. But this may be a bad thing. Look at that. It's lowering that. Okay. Pick up. I can actually get it. What do I? What am I doing with this? Where, where am I going with this? The point of the this blue glowing aura, like too much of it, is a negative thing. But some of it, like those blue barrels, can be a positive thing. Oh look at this! I can actually push these. Maybe if I put it down, then pull this. Yeah. Oh. There we go. That's how it's done. Now, Trico, don't immediately murder me for this. Please. Hi. Um, I don't really know what this is for. I'm just going to throw it down there. See if Trico reacts to it in a specific way. Who knows? Maybe it'll be positive. Do you, do you care at all for this thing? This barrel of some kind or whatever it is? He's looking at it. Kind of reacting the same way he would to the barrel, but not eating it. What is it, Trico? Is it good? Oh! That doesn't look good. That looks bad. So we know that Trico doesn't like this thing, this pot, whatever it is, for certain. And I was looking around and I realized that the chain right here looks e almost exactly the same. Yep. Almost exactly the same as the thing that was... Um, I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. Um, yeah, look. You can hang it on here. I don't know what that does. 
Maybe the weight of it pulls it down, which then opens the door. Trico, you leave that alone. What are you doing, Trico? What the fuck? That's how we get it to open the door. Trico has to grab, like, rattle the shit out of it. Can you do that again, please? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, well, you got me through. Maybe I can lift this up for you on the other side uh, through, like, a mechanism or, or something. Um... Okay, what the hell is this thing that I'm pulling now? I, okay, I'm just doing this because I can? Well, look at this. There's the handles on the side of it. I'm obviously not doing it right. I was wondering if I could turn it. Like, if I get this handle part, like this, and properly turn it. That doesn't do anything. But pushing it... Why? I don't understand. What's this contraption supposed to go into? Obviously, the barrel's the problem here. That's not really doing anything, so we'll just move that out of the way. Is the, oh, does is it supposed to go on the track, do you think? It could be. What? Am I going to jam the door with this thing? There you go. Oh, my God. It, that has to be it. That has to be it. It is it. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, we did it. We did it. Those two rooms, man. This last, like, this episode has been the most challenging to get Trico to work with me. But at the same time, that the puzzles, if you can call them that, have also been weird as well. More confusing. All right, you can squeeze under that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, nice work, pal. Now, I had a look around the room while I was trying to work that out. There's obviously a balcony thing up here that you could totally jump up. You don't need nothing here. You've got this. You know what to do, right? There we go. Jesus, that took some time. Whoa, what is this? Uh, okay. Trico's not gonna like that. Ah! あ、ていうたらくい。あ、やめでも、あひのくいし。いて多い。あらきいなろし。お取り子の家けさ。うん。Hmm. Strange. All right, we need to find a way to break these. There's some wood panels behind them by the way. If we had the um that shield that we could make him shoot them with. Look, we could make him shoot the 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 wood. Maybe I just dive into it. Oh, you know that? That moved it. Oh my god. There's something here. Are, it, it, are these the head? Oh my god, it's just the heads of those those guardians, those armors. And if I... <laughs> if I take them and smash the... Yeah! <laughs> Oh my god, no, we don't need to go get another one. We can just use the same one. Oh, there we go. That's how it's done. Destroying the enemy with the enemy. All right, ho hold on. I understand that was a weak throw. Um, there we go. All right. Jesus, being that close to those mirrors there, I must be covered in cuts right now. You're right, pal. You good? All right, let's just keep going. He's transfixed right now by those mirrors. I'm sure he'll catch up on his own time, in his own time. Oh, there we go. Back outside again. What the ever-loving fuck is that? It's like weaponized the mirrors. Oh my god. This next episode is going to be a lot harder. Guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode of The Last Guardian. And we'll be back next time with whatever the hell those things were. Bye for now.